up my little rose petals and my little rose thorns welcome back to the channel for another episode of delicious emily's home sweet home so in this part we are starting the farmer's market and i'm already in love just listen the music is fantastic so um i have two special guests with me today one consisting of a whiskey chewing on a milk jug and the other consisting of tallulah sitting on my shoulder so um, I might have to stop a couple times and readjust and figure out what the heck they are doing. Um, but Whiskey is currently at my feet and Tallulah is currently on my desk. And I think I'm already going to move you. Thank you very much, child. So, um, let's get started. We have $800 in the bank. Um, who is this? Madame Rasputin. The local tambourine player is all the rage and snug for and will entertain your customers. Interesting. Never burn a quiche again, or almost never burn a quiche again. Quiche stand. Oh my gosh. This is going to be very interesting. So the farmer's market, um, I think, is owned and run by that woman who is um, soup-o-matic. This soup maker will allow you to make even more soup at once. Um, adding a new kitchen block will really help Emily prepare things more quickly. And then, of course, the tables. Um, so... Yeah, I think it was owned by, like, that really, like, hippie type of woman. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's just buy that. And go from there and save it for everything else, because I don't really know what else, um, there is. Okay, what's for the menu? Um, we have walnuts, pine nuts, cashew nuts, sunflower seeds. A shovel, watering can, gardening boots, um, broccoli soup, pumpkin soup, tomato cream soup, lemons, apples, melons, strawberries, raspberries, cherries, broccoli, and healthy surprise. Yeah, this is definitely a farmer's market, which this screams home in childhood to me because this is exactly what I had um, growing up. Oh, wow hey you're finally here what was your name again Emily oh yeah Emily you're here to help us with fall far harvest season okay Hemingway let's put your pine cone bird feeder on the tree oh god your market is beautiful I had no idea this was here Thanks! It's so nice to be outside and align yourself with nature, you know? That I can get behind. Oh my gosh! Uh, quick! Go find Mommy's Thyme Oil Hand Cleanser. Birds carry a lot of germs and diseases, you know. Okay. Um, sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. So, what do you guys think? She's like the, um, what do you call it? Um, oh, what would you call that? Because, see, it's kind of funny. Um, with, um, the way I grew up with, like, the garden and, um, the farm and everything like that, um, we were outside a lot, a lot, a lot, and, um, we had... Let's see, my ma had bird feeders everywhere. She had hummingbird feeders and just regular bird feeders. And then we actually had squirrel feeders. Um, and we even did, um, uh, we had like a small little garden for the deer. We would just like have like things, like food specifically for the deer. Um, so yeah, um, we were very nature aligned in my family and um, I don't know I think we could be described almost as like witches the way that like we had this huge um, herb garden and things like that um, pretty sure the neighbors thought we were like occultists or something I don't know um, 
but we never freaked out about the germs that things carried. So this is kind of, I don't know, she's the hippie mom, but also the, oh my God, everything could kill you mom. Live in a bubble mom. Like that was the whole point of putting the bird feeder on the tree. And when a bird came to see him, she like panicked. Yikes. Oh, but this music is so freaking amazing. Let's get this. Put another one in. Get another one of these. are like driving me insane oh my gosh i keep i hate having to keep going back to this quiche oven i'm just gonna keep making quiches this is so insane oh i didn't even pick it up Ugh. sorry yeah it's because i had to go back to the quiche oven fifty thousand times that was annoying there we go Patrick, please, no, I was just trying to help. What are you talking about? <gasps> what are you doing? Pounding a nail? Stop! In the name of history! We're from the Snugford Hills Historical Preservation Society. We're meeting with city council in one week. And upon our recommendation, this house will become a historical landmark. Oh my god. You had something to do with this? I found out this house used to belong to an astronomer named Gecko Flasker. Geiken Fleischer. What I said. And if the house is a landmark, the city couldn't possibly flatten it. It just came with small, some small print I didn't see. Like what? Like the need to restore everything to the way it was back then? That's not all. We have a pamphlet describing the rules regarding landmarks. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, let's look at to see what we can upgrade now. Oh, goodness. Oh, look at that. It's a little Lego thing. Oh, God, that is so freaking cute. Okay. Um, so we can't buy anything. We only have two diamonds. What is this? Oh, we might buy this for Rosie, but I'm sure Snuggly will end up laying in it. Oh, my God, that is so cute. Oh, look at the baby gate on the stairs. Oh, how precious. Okay, they haven't even started work on this room yet. I don't know when they're going to start work on this room. Probably after this next uh, level, possibly. All right, let's get going. Put up the play tent. Pine nuts. Perfect. Let's look at the store here. Um, This bench decreases the amount of time spent on woodwork chores. Oh, okay, okay. These woven baskets make the farmer's market feel more authentic and increase people's patience. Oh, that's cute. How much money do we have? 200. All right, well, let's just upgrade a table. Oh, that's cute. Uh-oh. Hey, are you okay? Ugh, I'm having a lot of house stress at the moment. Oh, man. What a bummer. Do you want some de-stressing lavender tea? Maybe later. What do you have going on here? It's this toxin-free play tent I bought for Hemingway. It's super complicated. Here, let me give it a shot. Hmm. Toxin-free. Uh, I think I've said this in a previous video. Oh, Francois is going to help us clean. That's sweet. I think I've said this in a previous video, but as much as I am totally down for you protecting your children from, you know, toxins, you know, 
I ran around the fields barefoot in a nappy for like most of my life. And I don't know, it just, it built, it built your immune system to be exposed to certain things. You know what I mean? Because I've noticed that my, my sister, um, so my sister is autistic. And so growing up, she was, um, very sheltered by my mama. And so she does not have as good of an immune system as I do. She gets sick very often, um, because she never, you know, played outside, ate mud, you know, things like that. She never was able to be outside and experience everything because my mom kept her very much um, under wraps. Not because of she was scared of the things outside, just because my sister um, had a lot more needs. Um, so. Uh, okay, so you gotta keep, okay, you gotta keep doing that. Um, and so she's just sick very often. She misses a lot of school, whereas I get sick maybe once every other year and it is always strep throat. Um, so it's always strep throat, never anything else. I had the flu last year, actually, um, had the flu for the first time in my life because I guess it was, it was super bad last year. Um, and I hate shots, so I don't think, even because I got the flu, I don't think I'll be getting the flu shot because I just cannot do shots. Um, however, me getting sick isn't the best thing either, but um, I just, I really don't want to get the shot. <laughs> if I get sick with the flu again, I will. I will definitely absolutely go get the shot, but I kind of like, I never get sick and the fact that I got the flu was super surprising because um, I've never had it before. And yeah, I only get sick like once every other year. I don't even have um, allergies. So yeah. Whereas my sister has horrible allergies, but that doesn't really have anything to do with her like not going outside. That's just because allergies are actually a pretty big thing in my family. I have a dog nose underneath me right now. <laughs> And I don't know why. It's not his dinner time yet either. Like I said, he has been super needy for reasons that I have no clue. And it's actually kind of annoying because I don't know why. I threw him a Powerade bottle. We'll see how that goes. Oh, That's sweet. <gasps> huh? The zipper's stuck. Major bummer, man. Moon Blossom? Oh, hey, Sun Lotus. Do you need any help? Uh, me? No, I was just, uh, testing. Okay, well, uh, I made you something. Great, thanks. Just leave it outside. Was that her husband? Oh. <coughs> okay. Moon Blossom? I was wondering if you wanted to go grab some coffee. Now? Uh, can't. Sorry. I really need to get my chakras in line. Hemingway's dad. I guess obviously it's not Hemingway's dad. There's no way. Not the way that he was acting. That's so sweet. Keep every customer at four hearts or higher. Oh god in heaven. Alright, quick prepare time. That is so cute. Alright, what do we got here? 300. Let's go ahead and buy that. how mad he is wow that dream catcher is beautiful it is beautiful and i know my dream catchers isn't it sun lotus made it himself he's a total genius 
I think he has a crush on you, too. He keeps asking me out, and I keep making excuses. Between the farmer's market and Hemingway, I have, like, no time to groove with anyone. I know how that goes, but can't you just get a sitter? I don't know. I never tried. I haven't left Hemingway's side for more than a few minutes since he was born. I know it would be good for both of us, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Uh-oh, the Sun GV rays are hitting their peak. Come on, Hemingway. Ugh. Yeah. Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. Whiskey's being... Whiskey. Okay. Well, unfortunately, if you would stop worrying about sun UV rays and just put on some sunscreen, you could go out with this guy. Yikes. But that dream catcher is pretty. Oh, that is really pretty. Hmm. Ugh, mushrooms are disgusting. I have to keep going back and forth between this trough and this quiche machine and it's driving me nuts. Oh my gosh, and I gotta keep people at four hearts or higher. Yeah, funny joke. Goodness gracious. Can I do two in the oven? I can. Oh god, I didn't even know that. That is so incredibly frustrating. Because I didn't actually know that. Alright, well. Learn something new every day. Yeah, so I'm probably going to do the challenge level um, this next... Um, after this next part. Because, uh... Because, yeah, I really need to. Um, I need to... I want to get all the diamonds and everything. So. Oh, so I have to make the wood. Oh god, and you gotta do like a blueprint. Oh god, that's really crazy. Interesting, okay. Alright, let's get these people checked out. Perfect. I don't know why that guy is standing behind that guy, because there was plenty of room for him to move up. That's very odd. Ugh. Anyway, this part... Sorry that I had to keep stopping this part. Whiskey, again, is... Ugh. I had to just, like, run around with him in the living room, because he just wouldn't stop, like, being needy. <laughs> Johannes Geikensflesher. My, my. The two of you are lucky. I don't feel very lucky. Lucky is not exactly the word I'd use. Exactly. Oh, look! This china cabinet was in her apartment. If this house becomes a landmark, we might not even be able to live in it. What's so special about Geik Geikensflesher anyway? He was a famous astronomer. I believe he discovered Geikensflesher's comet, but I'm not sure. Oh, God. It's a pretty safe bet. <gasps> Possibly from this very house. I'm guessing he spent a lot of time in that attic of yours. Hmm. Uh-oh. Attic! Wanna go attic? <laughs> oh. Not now, Paige. Stairs are off limits. So freaking cute. All right. Reassure Moon Blossom. I can't believe that's her actual name. Okay. Um. Oh. These lanterns present the products in a better light and increases the tips people leave. Okay. Interesting. We're gonna buy a table. <laughs> Moon Blossom, I have an idea. How about you leave Hemingway with me? Oh god, look at that face. Just for ten minutes at a time, let's say. 
enough to go to get a coffee, maybe browse a bookstore. Coffee is high in hydrochloric acid. Oh God. Or tea, whatever it is you'd like to do. Just enough time to get used to the idea of Hemingway, of leaving Hemingway with someone else. Okay, let's give it a try. Reassure Moon Blossom. So she's gonna come in back and check in every so often on her baby. Oh, and look at him, he's poking out of the thing. Oh, he's so cute. Coffee is high in hydrochloric acid. Well, that explains a lot. Oh. Oh. So cute. There's that mouse. Hydrochloric acid, huh? That probably explains why I had a panic attack yesterday. <laughs> probably because the hydrochloric acid was going through my system at rapid speed. Who knows? I, um... I mean, I... Huh. Unfortunately, I was diagnosed with um, anxiety at a very young age anyway, so the coffee really didn't help, I don't think. Oh, that is so stinking cute. Um, so yeah, I mean, and like I said, like I, I don't typically drink coffee. I do not drink pop, so even just drinking that coffee every day this week, I really like, um, I think I really put myself into that attack because it, it, it's really hard to explain like what actually happened, but um, yeah. Oh, look at all of them. Oh God, that's so cute. I've got it. Apparently Johanna's father was a bit of a hypochondriac. Johannes was confined to his attic bedroom a lot. That's why he spent so much time looking at the stars. There's even a picture. Look! So, you want to lock the Snugford Hills Preservation Society in our attic? <laughs> Good idea, but no. But what if we preserved some of it? Get an antique telescope, keep the original woodwork. Maybe even the preservationists would back off if they thought we took the history of this house seriously. That's actually a good point, and I actually kind of had that thought. If they just preserve the attic, then, you know, they could make it a little bit of a museum, and she could make money off of people coming in to see it, I think. Possibly, not sure. Create 45 restockable products. One, two, three, four, five. So this will be the last level. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this will be the last level. Um, do I have any diamonds I can spend? I've got four. Um, oh, we're starting work on another part of the house. What's this house? Or how this house? What's this house? Okay. Oh, this wardrobe has at least eight shelves. Seven for me and one for Patrick. Yes, boo. Yes, girl. I like to have candlelight in our bedroom. Don't you? After, girl, I like to have candlelight everywhere. I think I have, I have seven candles on my desk right now. They're not lit, but I have seven candles on my desk. And then I have about five candles that go around the rest of the house. I love it when Patrick brings home flowers. They fill the room with such a lovely smell. Oh God, that's so freaking adorable. Okay. Um, and then the attic, Patrick's desk, a place for Patrick to work on floral designs floral designs? Why would he work on floral designs? I don't know what it is with Miss Green, but Patrick has a thing for her, so I'll buy him a poster of hers to choke. Okay! <laughs> That's a little odd. Most people don't know this, but Patrick was actually quite the bass player. He just doesn't take time to practice anymore. Adding this to his man cave might help. Well, yeah, but this is the attic. Aren't we supposed to be, like, preserving? I guess we're only preserving part of it, then. Like she said. Okay, so I don't want to buy anything for these rooms just yet um, until I go through the challenge levels and then I'll see what I can buy. 
Oh, we have a painter. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's do that. <gasps> Uh-oh. Now, now, Hemingway, you know the rule about climbing trees. How about we make another dream catcher instead? Feeling better about leaving Hemingway with a sitter? You know what? I am, thanks to you. Next time Sun Lotus asks me to groove, I'm going to say yes. Oh. Okay. I think groove means something totally different in her vocabulary than it does mine. Uh, that is if you don't mind watching Hemingway for me for 30 minutes. <laughs> Let's make it 45. You want him to ask for a second date. Who's this painter? Create 45 restockable products. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is I gotta get, um... Uh, oh, people are gonna ask to be painted. Okay, that's nice. Uh, oh, I need a... Oh, are you serious? Alright, well, let's get this, this, and then this. Okay, and let's restock everything. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Alright, I need this, and I need this to go to them. We're gonna fill the pumpkin soup. Grab this. Um, okay, let's grab more of these. Yeah, the birdhouse too, I forgot about that. Um, let's make a couple of these. There's the mouse. Perfect. All right, so we have five and five of everything except for the birdhouse. I don't know how many of those we can make. We'll make five. Okay, so everything has five. Oh, what happened? Oh, I made the pie instead of the, okay, it came in handy because I needed the pie anyway. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, and then I need lemonade and more of the seeds. And let's get some more lemonade. Perfect. Oh, this is so cute. I would love to run a farmer's market. It's just so much fun. You meet so many cool people. There's no one really nasty at farmer's markets. And it's just wholesome and nice. Both things I love. Hey, Sun Lotus. Hey, Moon Blossom. Uh oh. See anything you like? Actually, do you have any of those organic soy free imitation chicken patties left? Oh, God. Uh,. I think we're out. Thanks, anyhow. Uh-oh. Wait! Oh. I've been thinking a lot lately about you and me and... The tree! Hemingway, get away from there! Oh, God. Look at Emily, she's like, oh my god, you idiot. Ugh. She is so focused on this kid. Ugh. This like breaks my heart so, so much. Alright, you right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next part, um, we will actually in the side next part, I'm going to be doing the um, challenge levels in some of the levels that I've missed the like challenges that they have on them. Um, so that's just going to be a whole episode on its own. In the next story part, um, because I know some of you guys might not want to watch the challenge part, we will hopefully get Moon Blossom and Sun Lotus to groove together because, oh my god, this is so painful to watch. So if you like this part, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next part. Bye.